In a significant move to enhance disaster preparedness, Malaysia has bid farewell to its deep water tsunami buoys. The decision comes after years of grappling with technical issues and high maintenance costs, according to the Malaysian Meteorological Department, also known as Mad Malaysia. The focus has now shifted to a network of 25 tight gauges strategically placed along Malaysia's coastal areas, providing consistent and near real time data. In a recent interview, Mad Malaysia Director General Mohamed Hilmi Abdullah shares more with the New Straits Times. We did a lot of, of um, study uh, and also we spoke to our counter, counterparts, as I, as I mentioned, our Indonesian counterparts, uh, the Japanese, even Philippines, uh, who have more experience when it comes to tsunami. And we, we came to the conclusion that uh, it is better to um, monitor tsunami using tight gauges. The Norway-made boys, also known as Tsunami were initially installed in 2006 as part of a collaborative effort within the region in setting up the warning system in preparing against another disaster. However, flaws in functionality, sensitivity and incidents of loss or damage led to a shift in strategy. A tight gauge will be able to distinguish because of the processing, the, the sophisticated of the system, it will be able to distinguish between um, an ocean wave, which means a wind-generated wave, a sea wave, for example, and a tsunami wave. Because even though um, ocean wave can be very high, can be can reach up to three, four meters in height, uh, the tide gauge, the system, the way it, it uh, operates, is able to distinguish and um, false alarm will not, will not happen. When there is a systematic and drastic change in the sea level at a specific tidal point, Mad Malaysia will attend to the information received by these tight gauges for disaster response and issue rapid alerts out to nearby communities. Additionally, information on sea levels are also received from an external network of tidal gauges and tsunami buoys in neighbouring nations for better preparation. We collaborate with our neighbours, our neighbours, uh, Thailand, also India, uh, countries in the Indian in Ocean and also the Pacific region, which have tight gauges that we can um, monitor tsunami. Let's say if a tight gauge has struck, um, has struck uh, Indonesia, because Indonesia is closer to the source of the earthquake. So Indonesia, uh, the tide gauge in Indonesia will be able to send alert. We would be able to see, um, oh, a tsunami has struck Indonesia. The height is such and such. And uh, based on that, we would be able to uh, determine uh, what time it will arrive in, in Malaysia.